Hey there, I'm Dr. Ridwan and today I'm going to talk about something very important, how our blood pressure works. In this fast-paced and stressful world, it's crucial for everyone to understand the basics of how our bodies function. No matter what you do or where you work, your health should be your number one priority. So let's jump right into it and learn about the basics of human blood pressure to help you stay healthy and feel good. Blood pressure refers to the force exerted by the circulating blood on the walls of blood vessels. As the heart propels blood throughout the body, it generates pressure against the arterial walls in a perpendicular manner. This force during heartbeats is known as the systolic blood pressure. Between beats, when the heart relaxes to refill with blood, the pressure in the arteries decreases, reaching its lowest point. This phase is termed as diastolic blood pressure. So basically, systolic blood pressure is the top number in a blood pressure reading and represents the pressure in your arteries when your heart muscle contracts. Diastolic blood pressure is the bottom number in a blood pressure reading and reflects the pressure in the arteries when the heart rests between beats. Both systolic and diastolic blood pressure are measured in millimeters of mercury, a unit of fluid pressure measurement. If you wish to learn more about this unit of measurement, please comment below. The difference between systolic and diastolic blood pressure is referred to as the pulse pressure, typically ranging from 40 to 60 millimeters of mercury. There are currently two classifications available for blood pressure, one provided by the American Heart Association and the other by the European Society of Hypertension. Let's now discuss both classifications. According to the American Heart Association, the blood pressure is categorized into four major categories. They are normal blood pressure, elevated blood pressure, stage one hypertension, and stage two hypertension. When the systolic pressure is below 120 millimeters of mercury and the diastolic blood pressure is below 80 millimeters of mercury, it is considered normal blood pressure. According to the American Heart Association, elevated blood pressure is identified when the systolic blood pressure ranges from 120 to 129 millimeters of mercury, while the diastolic blood pressure remains below 80 millimeters of mercury. High blood pressure or stage 1 hypertension occurs when the systolic blood pressure ranges from 130 to 139 millimeters of mercury, and the diastolic blood pressure ranges from 80 to 89 millimeters of mercury. Stage 2 hypertension is diagnosed when the systolic blood pressure is above 140 millimeters of mercury and the diastolic blood pressure is above 90 millimeters of mercury. This classification is provided by the American Heart Association. Now let's look at another classification that is provided by the European Society of Hypertension. They have divided the blood pressure into five major categories, optimal, normal, high normal, hypertension and isolated systolic hypertension. When your systolic blood pressure is below 120 millimeters of mercury and diastolic blood pressure is below 80 millimeters of mercury, according to the European Society of Hypertension, they call it optimal blood pressure. When systolic blood pressure ranges from 120 to 129 millimeters of mercury and diastolic blood pressure ranges from 80 to 84 millimeters of mercury, it is called the normal blood pressure. A systolic blood pressure ranging from 130 to 139 millimeters of mercury and diastolic blood pressure ranging from 85 to 89 millimeters of mercury is called the high normal blood pressure. According to the European Society of Hypertension, a systolic blood pressure above 140 millimeters of mercury and diastolic blood pressure above 90 millimeters of mercury is called hypertension. They have subdivided hypertension into another three categories, such as grade 1 hypertension, grade 2 hypertension, and grade 3 hypertension. A systolic blood pressure between 140 to 159 millimeters of mercury and diastolic blood pressure between 90 to 99 millimeters of mercury is called hypertension grade 1. A systolic blood pressure between 160 to 179 millimeters of mercury and diastolic blood pressure between 100 to 109 millimeters of mercury is called hypertension grade 2. A systolic blood pressure above 180 millimeters of mercury and diastolic blood pressure above 110 millimeters of mercury is called hypertension grade 3. Another type of hypertension which is called the isolated systolic hypertension 
when the diastolic blood pressure is below 80 millimeters of mercury but systolic blood pressure is above 140 millimeters of mercury it is called the isolated systolic hypertension isolated systolic hypertension can be differentiated into another three categories such as grade 1 grade 2 and grade 3 this differentiation is exactly the same as the categories of hypertension but except the diastolic blood pressure will always remain below 80 millimeters of mercury so these were two most popular and medically accepted blood pressure classification system currently available next we are going to talk about the importance of maintaining a healthy blood pressure you might ask the question why should i maintain my blood pressure why cannot i leave it alone or what happens if i stop caring about blood pressure high blood pressure often shows no noticeable symptoms earning it the nickname the silent killer when blood pressure is consistently high it can lead to serious health issues such as heart disease stroke kidney problems and eye problems etc increased blood pressure means the heart has to work harder to pump blood throughout the whole body over time the heart muscle becomes tired which leads to heart failure swelling of the body with water and difficulty in breathing high blood pressure also damages your small arteries these damaged arteries attract fat this leads to atherosclerosis which in turn further narrows the arterial lumen size thus increasing blood pressure furthermore atherosclerosis in the coronary arteries lead to heart attacks atherosclerosis in the arteries of the brain causes brain stroke high blood pressure damages the nephrons in your kidneys causing renal failure so it is very important to control or manage a healthy blood pressure for a healthy life because a diseased body results in a depressed mental state and also turns a person into a liability rather than an asset this is all for today in the next video we are going to talk about pulse pressure mean arterial pressure and more if you liked this video then please give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and share it to others if possible